What's up, y'all? Hi. Say hi to our visitor. Easy, baby. So, we are going to be making a epoxy. Okay, I don't want him licking you on camera. So, put him down. It's disgusting, and I'm tired of looking at it. He sounds disgusting. Okay, well, yeah. he's not He's not going to do it anymore. Well, you said... <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna make a um, glitter pen. So a glitter, a singular. Yes. what supplies you might need you're gonna need your glitter of choice we love us uh pdb glitter i love that we need some uv resin what kind do we have here culture then you're gonna need your pen of choice this is a ink joy 0.7 pen get it at wally world it was actually black and then we spray painted it red And you're gonna need you some alcohol. Alcohol <laughs> in um, a skincare bottle, preferably. That's ooh, ooh. then you will need your UV light. Oh, shines your light. We got two of them, and that's it. So we're gonna take our UV resin. I'm going to epoxy. Well, the UV. I'm gonna slather a decent amount on there. You see. This is the main reason I like this is because it's thick. What um, is it? Thick. Thicker than a snicker. But I will let me forewarn you. It's a smell potent. But um oh disclaimer, I don't care that I'm supposed to be wearing uh what is it? A respirator. I don't care. If y'all gonna die something, just pick your poison. Mm -hmm. This makes me money, so it's okay. So I have my piece of paper underneath because we don't want to lose any, waste any glitter. But dump it. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is a very true red. But honestly, there's no wrong or right uh, way to glitter, to glitter. But this is how I do it. Now, I must point something out to y'all. Are you gonna point my mistake? Because I I already told them my mistake. What was your mistake? I that was the pen that I forgot to. Oops! You see that? How that's gonna be a big old bulge right there? Cause I forgot to do this one. After you glitter, you okay? But I want to point this out. So this is probably your mistake, but it's okay. So you see that little notch? That is my mistake. Hold on. That is because um, the co-owner of FGG Glitter, FGG Customs, um, did not sand the clip off all the way. But it's not going to matter. Because after we put over the um, UV resin, it's going to be built up to the point where it doesn't even, you can't even tell. So the main difference with UV resin versus epoxy resin is that it does require a UV light to cure it. So we're gonna use this UV light and we're literally just gonna, we're just gonna cure it, cure the light. So you can use a UV light to cure epoxy, regular epoxy? No, you can use regular epoxy to make an epoxy pen. You would just have to put it on the turner. UV light only works with the UV resin. Okay, so you wouldn't be able to use UV resin. You wouldn't be able to use normal epoxy resin and then use the UV light on a turner. Right. I mean, you could, but you would damn sure just be doing that for the hell of it because it's not going to cure it. I mean, there is a few granules, but it's enough. It's done enough for me to add another layer of epoxy. So, I'm going to go in for my second coat now. Same thing. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
So the main difference with UV resin and um, regular epoxy to get the bubbles out, instead of using the heat gun or a torch, you want to use um, 90 proof, 90% of alcohol to get bubbles out. So we're literally just going to, that's it. Does it get all the bubbles out? Absolutely not, but. Although I could technically, yes, just take my handheld to cure this. I have my little, uh, this is a nail uh, UV light. I have it <laughs> uh, rubber band onto a clear Dollar Tree. Um, this is like a, what's it called, like a vase? Like a flower vase with water in it. I'm literally going to put this in there, uncured, turn it on, and it's going to cure. So I'm going in. I'm going to push my 90 seconds. So, you want me to say this, even though this is not how I feel. Okay. I do like having my pen table over here, out of the way. I can never get one. That's you know, I'm going to find somebody who's going to love me for me. And who's going to treat me and give me all of the things that I deserve in life. And an STD. All right, and now we're gonna come dry it off. I would recommend um, touching it before you dry it, but you know, do as I say, not as I do. Then I'm just putting it on my skin to see if it's kind of tacky. It is slightly tacky. So, touch it. Mm, yes, slightly tacky. And it shall go for another 30 seconds, or 90 seconds. Okay, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Better? Yeah, uh, I don't care. So, if, like I said, in the ideal world, I would cure this 100%. It's not an ideal world. You know why? Why? Because we got racism. We got uh, predators, child molesters. We have homeless people. Oh, not homelessness. But yeah, homelessness because really nobody should be homeless in this world. But yeah. So it's not an ideal world. So so what? I said that to say this. This is well enough. Like, this is not finished, obviously. But it's got to be sanded. The decal has got to be applied. And then we've got to uh, complete it with some UV resin. I mean, with some regular resin. And it's finished. I'm not concerned that it's slightly tacky because it's not done. My fingerprints are not gonna still be in there because I gotta sand it. So yeah, I'm. this is at a good stopping point where I can at least put decal, like a decal on it and be finished. Okay, on to the next step. We need to sand. Can you give me a sanding block, babe? Whoops, did I kick you? No, I didn't. Don't you go snitching. You little snitch, I hadn't forgot about what you did yesterday. Like I said, we don't really care about this piece because we're gonna sand it. So right now, this is cured to the touch, um, not tacky or anything. So we're gonna sand. We don't wanna sand too much because we didn't do that many coats. And you see that some of those pieces of glitter are turning silver. That's okay, because we're gonna cover up a lot of this glitter with the, um, Ladybug prints and this as well. We'll just make sure that's covered. We're gonna peel our decal. I typed in SVG, what's it called? Ladybug dot print, something like that. I hate ladybugs. And caterpillars. Any type of bug. And roaches. Mm. Who likes roaches? We're gonna peel the name. I went for the reflective because I feel like it's gonna pop the best. What you think? Maybe. So, so I just plied my transfer tape and now I'm literally just peeling it up, just trying to get all the dots. It's not like, um, like obviously there's some pieces missing, but who cares, you know? I think, I think, keyword emphasis please, that I got it how I like it and I like it how I got it. Changes might be made pending. So now we're gonna take our name, Mia. 
I think what I'm going to do is two different things. So, Babe wants me to remove the name. I mean, to put the name, not, like, to remove some places for the name. I don't want to. What, what do you think? I still think you should remove, like, a little piece in the middle. Oh, my God. I hate this. What was that? Did you say something that you might not have meant in the time of? Did you say something that you might not have meant um, at the moment um, that you would like your audience to know? This is so stupid. So now, guys, when you have too many cooks in the kitchen, this is where stuff like this starts going left. Made me it look exactly how it would have looked if you wouldn't have been putting your opinion where it wasn't wanted. Wow. <laughs> I'm just playing. Thank you for your opinion. You're welcome. So now we got the pen. It look like a like a a dotty pen. What's next, babe? The wrapping. So I am going to seal it. I'm going to first squeeze it to death. That's how I want to choke sure up the squeezer. We want to make sure that all of the vinyl is pressed down firmly like we would like the trachea to be. You don't want any of your vinyl up or a little bit or any air underneath it because then it'll make a bubble. Causing what? Issues. Shining, 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 yeah. Shining, yeah. All of this money. What's and the word? Smother, 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 smother it on, smother it on, smother it on. I know the slather. I said the wrong word. Back in she goes. And out we come. Oh, so we're gonna dab her off. Oh, oh. Not gonna matter because we're gonna sand. Just wanna get that sealed. But yeah, so that's how she's looking. We're gonna let that one dry. So basically, we're going to, um, I'm gonna sand this one, this one, so that way it can be smooth. And I'm just gonna. Uh, epoxy this with our we're going to use our facet resin and not our UV We have this beautiful baby. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, she's gorgeous. Say it again. Oh, she's gorgeous. So we're gonna clean it, package it, and it's ready to. What's that? So we're gonna take our exacto knife and we're just gonna cut. And it's starting to get hard again, so I'm gonna. So, you see how much easier? Now, sometimes you can heat them up so much that you cut the silicone. But, you know. I think that's going there so smoothly. But we're just trying to cut it so that way it just peels right off. See? This is also why you don't want to leave your epoxy in, or your epoxy tumblers or pens in the heat. Because your pen will do this, or your cup will do this. So, we're going to shimmy that mamma jamma off. We have this. 
All right, that's it. We're done. No, I'm kidding. So we're going to go back in here and we just going to, you see how that just came off like paper. And then we're going to go. So now you got this. She's still very much rough around the edges. So now I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife again. And I'm literally just filing it down. We're gonna take our sanding block. So we sanded it, but I like to go an extra little step and just kind of buff the edges. So it won't be a little rough. So it won't be rough and so it'll, I don't know, I just feel like it makes it look complete. So you can't look like this end. Ooh, that looks weird. Looks like a spider. Stop, why the fuck would you say that? Somebody has arachnophobia. But you're just gonna go in there and clean that out too. So if you were to you know, put your pin fillings back inside. If it doesn't go all the way down, that means you have epoxy somewhere inside your pin. Okay, so we got our pin organizer supplies. We got the cap in. We have the, whatever that is, in. We got our black ink, in. Give it a little push. Make it pop through. And then we're gonna put our spring on. Make sure you tell your customers. So whenever you are buying refills for your pens, because obviously you didn't pay for this pen so it could be thrown away. So to re when you get a refill, an ink refill, this is the only thing that you're throwing away out of the pen. You keep all these other pieces. You keep this. You keep this. You keep this. And you for sure keep this. Put that on top, give her a twist. Final seal. She's quiet, she's walking. All right, peeps. It's cute. She's cute. Look. So tell us what you think. Make you a pin. Um, and then tag us when you like post a picture and tag us in it. But yeah, that's how we make our glitter pins. Yeah.